Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Random Acts of Sunday. And I am running on fumes today. Got up and drove somebody to the airport at about quarter to four. So I'm going to plow through this thing and get through what I want to talk to you about, which is this gimbal system, which is being used by me probably about 80% of the time that I'm shooting my vlog. The other 20% of the time, I'm using this thing here, which is the Bendy Pot, which is from JAG35. You can currently pre-order that on the JAG35.com uh, website. And I really use this for rigging the camera system around things. And I did an episode on this already. So um, if you've seen that, then you kind of know what it is. It's not a Kickstarter anymore. It is a pre-order. So go to the website, love that thing, uh, and use it. But when I'm going handheld and I'm talking about things and I want to show you guys stuff, this is what I'm using. This is by a company called Ziyun, which is Z-H-I-Y-U-N. Uh, the name of the product is the Crane 3, and that is what I can tell you about it in terms of uh, company and name. I have been using gimbal systems for a long time. I actually started out using the glide cam system and the full vest and the arm and the sled and that kind of stuff. And then I have a lot of experience using the Movi. And I also do have a larger um, one-handed that can convert into a two-handed gimbal system. It's not huge, but it's designed for sort of DSLR setups with larger lenses. And when I was starting the weekly vlog, it just happened to be that somebody from this company reached out to me and said, do you want to try this, this gimbal out for mirrorless camera systems? And I said, sure, why not? I'll try it out thinking that I would just go ahead and use my other gimbal. And then I got this thing, I balanced the camera up on it and I absolutely loved it. So um, it's about $600 US. It is available at places like B&H Photo. So it's a legit product that you can get your hands on and uh, it's not expensive. And again, it is designed really for mirrorless camera systems. Now, I want to talk to you about sort of how large or how small of a camera system you should really be thinking about if you're using something like the Crane 3. Uh, my main vlogging camera system is the M3 uh, from Canon, and that's what I'm using now. And in fact, uh, recently I just shot something in Scotland about my whole vlogging kit and the things that I use. That should be going up online soon. It will be free content, and I will let you know when it comes out. Uh, but it's an M3, and I have the 11 to 22 on here, which is sort of my vlogging lens. It's great because it has a big, wide angle of view. I would say that for this system, you don't really want to go into something much larger than an A7 series with something like a, a Loxia or a bodice lens. Maybe the 24 to 70 from Sony, which is not that heavy. If you start to get into some heavier primes like the art lens, we actually tested it. A friend of mine, Ben Barden, and I, when I was in Scotland, and we tested the 35 millimeter art lens from Sigma, and we really struggled with it. The motors could kind of keep up, but in terms of the sort of size of the system and stuff and being able to get it balanced perfectly, it was a little bit difficult. So. Mirrorless camera systems, smaller systems, great for vlogging. Um, and then once you get your camera on here, you basically just need to balance it out so that before you turn it on, uh, it's all balanced. And that's really what you do with the gimbal system. I have also added on the bottom here, because there is a quarter 20 thread, this little tripod, which makes it easy to set up for balancing. And also you'll see in a minute when I show you the functionality, to put the system down when you're not hand holding it and actually be able to control it. One thing I would recommend is settling on a universal sort of plating system for different rigs if you're moving your camera from one place to the other. I use uh, for this particular application, vlogging, an Arca Swiss compatible system and I put this onto a car mount and I have one here on the actual gimbal system. It also allows me to very easily adjust this backwards and forwards. And 
it just makes life a lot easier. Um, so once you've actually balanced this thing out and you know that it's fine in terms of all of the axes and everything else, then you just go ahead and hold down the button for about three seconds and this sucker's gonna go ahead and wake up and there it is. And it's doing its thing just like a gimbal should and it's very stable and it has a joystick, you'll see here, which I can control. Uh, sometimes I'll actually flip where I have the microphone so it's not over here and I'll put it on this side just because it's easier for me to get to the joystick. You're just going to have to rig this the way you want to rig it, uh, but this actually makes it very easy when you want to do that. And in fact, if I press the button down once on the joystick, I can then very easily pan and I can tilt the camera. So um, double tap it, goes back to its original position. Um, really, really great little system. So what I really, really loved about it was that when I put the camera on there the first time and I balanced everything up, and I turned it on, it just worked. Encoders are fantastic, it's quiet, uh, works really well, but what if you wanna tune it, what if you wanna control it in different ways? Well, you can absolutely do that. Um, and in fact, uh, by the way, I like to adapt these other uh, Canon lenses, these pancakes and stuff like that. But let me just go ahead and show you this. Um, I have on here an app, which is from the company, and I can, through Bluetooth very easily, just go ahead and connect to the crane. Gives me a little heart, it's very happy. And then there you go. I actually can change the different modes on here and I can have full control. I can also calibrate the uh, system here. I can upgrade the system through this. There is a desktop app that you can get, but I find that doing it through here works really fantastically well. And beyond that for control, which I think is fantastic, there is also this remote control that you can get. You can turn this on while you're holding down the function button and uh, you'll get this solid light here and then you can actually control this just like you would if you were using the joystick on the system. So really, really fantastic. And what that means is that when you're using the system and you are you know, basically putting it down, I can actually control this doing and just using the remote control. I can also hold down the function key and it'll reset itself in terms of its original position. Basically all of the modes that you can use with the joystick on the actual gimbal, you can do with this little remote control. Um, comes with four batteries. Two are in here right now in the chamber and that will run the camera system for between three to six plus hours depending on how big your camera system is and your lens and how much you're making these motors work. Um, comes with that little charger. And uh, in terms of how I'm rigging my audio here, I'm a big tinkerer. I love to tinker with stuff. And one of the things that I love to use now to rig are these little nano clamps attached to quarter 20 to three eighths to a ball mount and then I just put a cold shoe on here. If I'm not using a wireless system like I am here, I can go ahead and attach something like a Rode VideoMic Pro. So I can just slide that into this system uh, and then I can attach that to the gimbal or whatever rig I'm using. I can also very easily use these little setups for things like this. And we'll talk about this little light in another episode, this little M9 from Aperture, but I can also rig little lights with these. So that's really sort of being used on this system, but I use these things on a lot of other things as well. Um, that's kind of the overview of this thing right here, which is the Crane 3. And what I'll do is I'll put information about sort of the main product website down here. And also in every episode now of Random Acts of, I have my vlogging kit so you can see where all of that stuff is and what I'm using. Please subscribe if you want to see more content and you want to see the content every week and hopefully in the future even more regularly than that. And I am actively asking you for topic ideas. If I'm going to do this all the time, I want to hear from you and find out what you want to learn, what you want me to talk about some more. And that's another episode of Random Acts of.